An object is released from rest and falls in the absence of air resistance. Which of the following is true about its motion? A. Its acceleration is zero. B. Its acceleration is constant. C. Its velocity is constant. D. Its acceleration is increasing. Or E. Its velocity is decreasing. For this type of problem, it's usually helpful to draw a diagram to help conceptualize the idea. So we're going to do that now. We're going to draw the ground level here. This is our ground. And we're going to draw some object being dropped, say a ball, from a average height of, say, H. Now, this ball, when being dropped, you understand that if you drop something on the surface of the Earth, it is going to accelerate downwards at rate due to gravi acceleration due to gravity, which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared on the Earth. So now that we know that, we can go on to choose which of these is correct. A states its acceleration is zero. Well, we already stated that our acceleration is equal to g, which is the acceleration due to gravity, which has a value of negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So our acceleration is not zero. So A is wrong. B states its acceleration is constant. This is true because we said that our acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, and there is no time dependence, position dependence, or anything as in other problems like velocity. It can vary with the time. Gravity here doesn't have any of those type of dependences on any other variable, so it is constant. C states its velocity is constant, but if we go back and show that A is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time, and then we get the change in velocity is equal to a times delta t. So we just simply did uh, multiply both sides by delta t. And we found that the change in velocity is equal to the acceleration times the delta t. So if we had some non-zero acceleration, then your delta v is not equal to zero. Therefore, your velocity is not constant. It is changing. D states that its acceleration is increasing, but we've already stated that our acceleration is constant, so this is wrong. Now, the thing to be careful about is E. It says its velocity is decreasing. So if we would actually solve this out, V is equal to V naught plus AT, where A is equal to a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And we solve, or we're dropping it, right? So our initial velocity is zero. It's released from rest. So V naught is zero. So our velocity of time, Vt, this is for like a function. You know how you have f of x in your math classes? Well, this is V as a function of time. This is not rewritten as V times t. So just be careful about the way I did that there. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll fix that then. So we'll rewrite this then as v of t, so v then as a function of time, so as not to confuse you then. We'll rewrite this now as a times t, which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared times time t. If t equals 1, our v at 1 is equal to a negative 9.8 meters per second. If t equals 2, our velocity at 2 is twice the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared times 2 seconds, which would give us um, negative 19.6 meters per second. So here you see that our velocity of our object is getting more negative but the magnitude of it is not decreasing it's actually increasing it's getting larger the acceleration is not in the opposite direction of the motion so our velocity isn't technically decreasing when in fact it's getting more negative 
because if we take the absolute values, be negative 9.8 and then absolute value negative 19.6 this is in fact greater than the, than the absolute value of negative 9.8 so our velocity is increasing as it's falling down it's not decreasing so once again just be careful about the difference between getting more negative and increasing or decreasing its velocity so once again our answer is question is B, acceleration when you drop an object or even when you throw an object up and it falls back down for the entire time you're above the surface of the earth there's always a constant acceleration due to gravity